Welcome back to another episode of The NES Pursuit. Today is a very special day because it is the return of cameraman Chris. He has been out for quite some time. Welcome back, Chris. Chris. Oh, man. It feels like a long time. I know. Woo. What's going Chris, on? Chris, where Hi. have you been? Uh, I had some twins. I had some twin girl babies. You need to tell everybody. So, yeah. what's the word? Back on the grind. Back on the old grind. <laughs> just just uh, back to the NES Pursuit days, I guess. They're six, seven months old now. Everybody asks about you. Really? Everybody misses you. Hi, guys. He's back. Thanks, thanks for supporting Andy while I've been out. I was like, no, I meant Chris NES Complex. He's like, oh, that's better. I don't really like Chris early that much. <laughs> <laughs> Did I change your life with the Madrill? I the, think so. The one that told you? Yeah, it's like a pancake yeah. inside of. This thing's amazing. This if thing you guys is amazing. Had one of these. I'm still not a fan though. You see what? this? What? I've you tried them. Pockets? Why don't you like it? I don't think they're good. Oh. I haven't heard oh. What? One of you guys has my phone. What? One of you guys has my phone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I oh, heard you. <laughs> don't lie. You can't lie. I know you. You're a terrible liar. <laughs> Look at he ruined my thing! Classic. Now I have to redo all the hashtags and everything. Oh, see? It, that's not true. Wait, see, Ricky, see what happens when you try to have fun? Gosh, there are so many there are so many crazy people on that McDonald's right now. Ricky got me a gift. I got him actually the shirt he's wearing right now, I got him that. We opened it on a morning mode video. Wow. Yes, look at this thing. Yes! Nice job. I've been wanting this game for a while and I haven't Heck picked yeah. it up. Wonderful 101. I don't remember who did the review. I think a buddy of my name, a Nintendo freak. I think it was him, uh, Navid. I'm uh, excited. I hear amazing things about the game. And I heard it's wonderful. Huh. Ricky, just show me your ear. Ricky, you got a new ear. Hey, Ricky. It's the new Wi Fi. So after all the shenanigans, it's time to actually get over to the Swami. I'm pretty excited, as we always are, and it is a beautiful morning here in sunny Southern California. We can't complain. Hey, so today we're at, uh, where are we at, Ricky? We're at OCC. I'm gonna find- You gotta say something different than what you always say. Bomberman 2 for the NES. Nice call. I'm hoping to find um, either like a classic pair of underwear. Classic pair of underwear. Like long, I want like a chastity like long johns? belt. No, I want a chastity belt so I can lock it up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's been way too long, Ricky. I'm sorry. Look at this. That's what you do. In your eyes. <laughs> Oh, it's too small. These would be so fun. Look at this. So you would just legit hook these up to your feet. And go. <laughs> but it's too small. Dang it. I like really would want a pair of these. So as all of you collectors out there know, something that's super important when game hunting is finding storage as well. Because when you acquire all these games, you need a place to put them. I mean, piece of crap. Probably worth a dollar. What's in there? Oh, Ooh. Dude, it comes with a bungee cord and a glove. I've been looking for this glove for That's a while. sketchy, dude. Yeah, black... <laughs> there was a little that child in there. print on it, though. <laughs> yeah, glove and bungee cord. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, Ricky. How much? Twelve dollars. Give me ten dollars for you. Ten bucks. That's actually not bad. Yeah. Ricky. You gonna have to lug that thing around? No, I'm not getting it. Ask if you can buy it and leave here. It's at the end. It's actually a good deal, dude. Yeah, no, dude. Like Danny it. Glover and Mel Gibson. There pretty much is no better dream team. 
That's better than like Ryu and Ken. I'm too old for this. I'm too old for this. All right, before Ricky and I get too much hate for this and everyone says, why didn't you get this? A, it seemed kind of cheaply made. And to be honest, we're not the biggest Mortal Kombat fans in the world. Yeah, we like the series, but we're not too, uh, too much fanboying. Dude. I mean, I play it? Yes. Look, he even has a reset button. Go! Go, Ricky, go. Oh. Only one hit, not even one? Dude, you have to hold it. Watch, watch. Do you want me to do real good? Cheat. Damn, I can't even get it in. Finish him. Ow! Oh, <laughs> that was a good one. I Thank you. Like <laughs> I'd say poquito. I see, I see. I found a Donkey Kong one of these yesterday. Pretty sweet though, like for real, I found it at Savers. Got it for a couple bucks. So I know I've told you guys this before, but I should probably practice what I preach. I always say we should probably look up video games more for different consoles that we're not familiar with. For us being PlayStation 2, because we just find stacks of games and we have no idea what half of these games are, so it'd be worth doing. <laughs> Never had that. <laughs> Dude, this actually looks pretty cool. What? what? Ghost Hunter? Ooh, let's see. Ghost Hunter. Where I don't know. Well, there's nothing on the back, but it is a game by Namco, and it reminds me of uh, any game that's Namco is usually mildly decent, or it can be, well made. Hey, Sunny Garcia Surfing. I love surfing. this game. Sunny Garcia Surfing. <laughs> we used to play this all oh, the time. Oh, that's a good game. Yeah. I got to meet him in real life. And then once Kelly Slater came out, uh, yeah, it, it kind of went away. I met him at your cousin's wedding. Really? Yeah. That was a random, random. random fact for the that day. That was random. So the day's been treating us well overall and we are finding games now finally left and right and also clothes shopping because you know here we can never get enough clothes. Oh it's for the actual Nintendo. I thought it was for USB. My bad. I was gonna maybe buy it to emulate games. Because I got rid of my worm. Wait till you see what we find next. Okay, you'll see it right now in like one second. You'll never forget. Bring your bow, your sword, your magic, and don't blink or you're doomed. Next episode of Convince? <laughs> yeah. Dude, <laughs> this is Convince. I like yeah, Ricky's narration. <laughs> and, and demons and swords. <laughs> So the guy was asking $40 for Dragon View, which is actually a really good price. Ricky and I did walk away, but after about 10 minutes, we realized, yeah, we should probably get the game. So Ricky went back to grab it. Would you take 30 for that game by any chance? Uh, no, I'll take 35. 35? Assume you look it up. You got five bucks I can borrow? <laughs> uh, actually. I have a 10. 10 cans of black eyed peas. And then you gotta catch him up. Wait, it's probably with the most here's a poster, it's in there. Everything's in, oh, the yeah, manual. The inside is pristine, it's perfect. Oh, that's sweet, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, man. So the swap meet did treat us extremely well today, and now it's time to say goodbye to our lovely cameraman, Chris. Thank you again. Chris, how did it feel to be back? Back in action. It felt great. I'm you stoked it wasn't too cold this morning either. I thought it was gonna be colder, so I, I layered up, but it wasn't bad. The real question is, will you be back? Definitely. I can't wait to tell Nicole I got this thing. What's so dead. <laughs> What's she gonna say? <laughs> Where are you gonna put it, Ricky? I don't know. I just, that's my, it's my problem. It's both a curse and a blessing. Because <laughs> you get amazing stuff. You get amazing stuff, but it. I just never know where to put it. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. So with the day ending, we head home. We head home not empty handed either. We did get some storage. We got a few games. I picked up a few games. Nothing too rare or uncommon that I needed to show you guys. But the day is done, and we'll see you guys next time. It was fun. We love you. See you guys. Merry New no, Year. We really do. Right. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Merry New Year. Who am I kidding? Good morning and welcome back. It is a new day and Ricky and I are freaking pumped for what we have going on today. 
Ricky found an ad on Craigslist for something extremely awesome, and the lady said she doesn't know if it works, but Ricky and I said we cannot pass up the deal no matter what. Just the like shell on its own is awesome. It's like, I think it's rare, it's pretty rare. But did you see the buttons on the console? Yeah, like freaking. It's super a Super Nintendo, Nintendo but like, like a, almost like a steering wheel. It looks pretty sick. So what are we even going to look at? What is this big thing we're excited for? Well, it's actually a Nintendo Super System Arcade. And well, it's amazing. back home now over to Ricky's house and what a beautiful drive we have. This guy lived in Long Beach, which Ricky and I decided, hey, let's take PCH on the way home. And also, we didn't really strap the thing in as good as we would have hoped. So yeah, it was probably best not to go on the freeway. So we're almost to Ricky's house and we are more excited than we can tell you guys. I am not kidding. unloaded we are freaking out excited to plug it in and check it out we dust it off we clean up the cobwebs we clean the screen we get excited we get the kids out we lure the dog over will it work it's lighting up oh shoot oh come on the screen the screen might be out oh, oh shoot, shoot. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Alright, hit, hit, one, hit Super Mario World. Oh, you have to deposit coins. I got it, don't worry. Wait, it's already gone. Oh. My. Sweet Lord. <laughs> I have never been so jealous in my life. Cool, this is like for real. Look at this controller, dude. I'm legit like jealous as heck. 